Guys, I don't know if I'll look professional or not, but it's just something I've always wanted to do. This is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living channel. Uh, this is a very special video and I just wanted to kind of give it an intro. Now some of you might have noticed we've uh, been working with a new person named Amy from Dragonfly Farms. And uh, by the way it's a little windy so you might hear some wind. Anyway, uh, so we had the opportunity to meet her at the farmers market at uh, Crooked River Ranch. And then we also had a chance to have her come over and do a tour of our hydroponics and our gardening and stuff. And we traded some of her raw milk because she found we found out she was uh, had a dairy cow. And I was fascinated about that. And uh, so uh, we traded some raw milk from some uh, a large quantity of... Uh, <laughs> I would get a frog in the background here, huh? So uh, we traded uh, that for some spinach and it was delicious. And uh, finally, uh, we had the opportunity to uh, go visit their family. And uh, so it was uh, three generations there to meet us. And uh, we had a chance to meet her three children. Uh, the oldest was 14. Amazing uh, young lady. Uh, really loves horses. Very knowledgeable. Very smart. Very um, skillful in, in explaining things. And she was very impressive. And then her sister uh, was, uh, I think she was 10 or 10 I think I may get that wrong and I apologize um, she was a sweetheart very informative very gung-ho uh, uh, just was charming and she made me a beautiful picture um, with a cow on it and if you look in our thumbnail you'll see the picture of the cow she drew me and it, uh, the rest of it had Ranger Rob country living on it it was super neat anyway so I was very grateful for that and then the youngest was four and she was a typical four-year-old and she was adorable. And uh, so the kids, uh, I couldn't help myself. The kids were so amazing. Um, and they do homeschooling there. Uh, the kids have chores. They're just wonderful kids. And I was just impressed. I couldn't help but want to you know, uh, record them. And, uh, but what was really neat is this was an opportunity uh, for Sherry and I to fulfill well, a bucket checklist things of a couple of things. But if uh, you are uh, ready for some cuteness, uh, we're going to get a chance to meet all their animals. And we get to do some things that Sherry and I have never done in our lives before. And thanks to Amy and her family and her husband, uh, Dustin, um, uh, they fulfilled that dream for us. So please sit back, grab a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, and enjoy some beautiful people and some cuteness of some animals, baby animals, and also get a laugh of something new that Sherry and I have never done before. And we're very happy to show you uh, us fulfilling a couple of dream things. So without further ado, let's move on. <laughs> All right, guys, this is kind of a surprise, oh, but we thought uh, we'd swing by uh, Dragonfly oh. Farms. And we have the great opportunity to meet uh, Amy and her family. And, uh, they got something adorable. You gotta see this. What are these? Baby bunnies. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. They're about oh. two weeks old. Mama's got one over here too, a little black one. Look, one. look at that. So how many total do you have? Uh, eight. Eight. Ah. So are these meat eight rabbits? Babies? They are. Yep. So what kind of rabbits are these? They're Rex. Rex rabbits, huh? Stay put, Mama. Mama? We're not her this is Mama. Wow, her name's Rain. Beautiful. You have to feel her. Let him feel her. She's very soft. Hi. Rex are known for their fur. Wow. You feel like mink. Yeah. So wow, soft. Feel that, Mom. I will. Was... So these are your meat rabbits, right? Yes. Wow. Eight babies. And of course, we got to meet the, the, the father of all these. Big Papa. And these are super soft bunnies. And is he a young or? He's, a, years? he's about a year, I 
I know. He's super shy. That's all right. I got some shy animals too. All right, so this is um, so Amy's husband. What's your first name? Dustin. 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 He uh, he likes. He's a woodworker for sure. But he built all these. Things. But this is a gorgeous. Wow! I like the way you did that. Do they like the perch and stuff they up there? Do. They uh, all over it all the time. That's a great way to look at the size of your chickens. Man, those are. What kind is the, the big one there? The big, um, that one's a red lace Wyandotte. Wow. And she is my oldest chicken. She doesn't lay anymore, but that's my theory is if you have survived the winters and the critters, then you just get to live out your life. Yep. Yep. Wow, that's a big old chicken, guys. <laughs> so uh, we're stopping in. I love to look at everybody's greenhouses. So uh, this is made out of what again? That's just corrugated plastic. Corrugated plastic. And uh, neat setup. And they got the automated windows that open by themselves. And uh, they heat it with a... Oh, that's nice. What is that thing? Is that a Mr. Betty? Heater? It is the Mr. Heater. The Mr. Heater. Uh, Buddy hmm. Flex. Okay. I haven't seen that model before. Pretty neat. So that's how they kind of awesome. get past the uh, chill factor in here, which I need to do the same thing. But really nice setup. Lots of plants. I've got and uh, tomato is doing all right. And I've got some marigolds too. And she started that wow. from seed. So, what was your first name again? Zoe. Zoe. I should remember that. It's kind of... So, she's got chameleons. Look at these little guys. Let's so get him focused on there. Close up. Close up. Wow. How this, long have you had those? Um, I think about one month. Look at the horns on him. Yeah, so his name is Loki. Loki. And he's the boy, and this is the girl. Her name is Kiwi. Kiwi. And we think that she's pregnant. She's adorable. I don't um, want one, but they're um, adorable. The as long as you own them. They're both adorable, he says. Yeah, they're pretty. Nice, thank you for sharing those. All right, guys, so we gotta see the baby goats. Look at that. How old are these guys? About three months. They're adorable. Are um, They're on a bottle. They only get a half a bottle so, twice a day. Did Mama not want to do your job? Um, we didn't have her, Mama. I bought these two. They were act they're two of triplets. Uh -huh. They were triplets, and the lady kept one. And that one that she kept in there, she was runch, runch, runch. Wow. She was so it tiny. Was adorable. Hi. Hey, guys. Look at you. So how now, big do they get? Oh, about like this. Okay. Huh. They are um, La Mancha Myotonic Cross, and Myotonic is the thinking goat. Oh, is oh. it? <laughs> so she uh, says that this is like the Noah's Ark. <laughs> I think she's right. Yeah. So. <laughs> wow, they're gorgeous. The genetics is really interesting because their dad was Myotonic, but their mom did not have that fainting goat gene. They don't do the fainting. Now, if I bred them to something with a myotonic gene, then their babies could. But so the, the fainting gene is recessive. It was interesting to me the way that the genetics go. Yeah. All right. So while well, we're getting a different section of the property where they actually have some livestock. So their cow uh, meatloaf is right there, I think. Mm -hmm. And I see two younger ones. Are they feed cows? Yeah. Well, the youngest one is. Um, he, we just got a couple months ago that somebody had lost the mother cow. Amy had been milking the cow. I'm like, oh, we, we, we need a meat calf. So we yeah. um, picked him up and we bottle feed him. And the guy was like, oh, I know you guys are just going to bottle feed. I can just tell him. Like, yeah, you're spot on. <laughs> wow. But so, they're friendlier that way. And then that's the, true. They're around people more. Yeah. Being so touched that's, and... that's Big Mac. And the other one right there is French Dip. We call her Frenchie. This one right here? Uh-huh. And um, she is not much younger than Meatloaf. So she's a Jersey, not a um, Angus. We purchased her as an Angus. <laughs> so this is the famous Meatloaf. So if you guys have been watching our shows, uh, Amy's been offering raw milk to yes. the public. And so this is the famous meatloaf we were talking about on the show. And uh, then they also have some feeder calves here. And then three horses or two? Three. three. And one of them is the young lady over here, the oldest daughter. 
and uh, she uh, she loves horses. So, so Aubrey here, she thinks she knows it's about horses, and then she told me she broke one. It's like, where do you get them fixed at? But she says, no, you don't know what you're talking about, Ranger. Anyway, she's got a horse here that used to be a racehorse, right? Yes. And so, how long have you had that horse? It's a good-looking horse over here. Where are there, guys? Um, did we get him September? November. November. Okay, we got him in November. So, why? Why would you get a horse like that? Well, we wanted him to be a trail horse. Yeah. For my mom. Yeah. And he's just a little bit spooky right now. He needs a bit more training on him. Yeah. And that's the reason we got him. Was you got an arena to work with him on there, right? Yep. We've got the big arena, and then we have a round pin. Gotcha. And what's... So, uh, the big arena is way in the back there, right? Yeah. Okay. And then your horse is, uh, and you're on camera, so okay. you got to tell me about your horse. Her horse is, what's the name? Dreamer. Dreamer. Short for Dreamcatcher. Right there now, for, short for what? Dreamcatcher. Okay, so tell me about your horse. He's a quarter horse, but he's not registered. He's not registerable because he doesn't have, like, the registered parents. But he's a blue roan quarter horse. He's, ah. a, he's a little over six is what we think. Yeah. Um, he came out of a ranch in Idaho. He used to be a cutter, so he moved the cows yeah. around. It's a quite quite a talented them. horse, so she's learning some great stuff. Yeah, he's really good. He's won ribbons and a buckle wow. at play days, which is just like where you, it's like a rodeo, but not competitive. Yeah. And he's, you're, you can do anything on a horse. We do double riding in the winter. We hook a sled up to him and he pulls a little sled around. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So do you like to ride horses? Yeah. Um, I, um, when she was talking about we do double riding, yeah. I'm usually the one who goes on the back. She <laughs> lopes him. I stand on the barrel. Uh -oh. She what's, runs what's, over. What's loping mean? Loping is. Loping is just over jogging. It's oh, like okay. jogging. All right. Yeah. So, Good job. She um, runs over and I stand on the barrel and then she runs around the barrel. Oh, and I've I jump, seen that before. Yeah, and I jump on the back of the horse and we run um, back. Wow. The... Do you guys ever compete or think about competing? No. no not really. Other than the play days, we don't do any competing. Yeah. And one time we were practicing that and he get he'll get a little funny sometimes <laughs> when he's when he's tired of it. And she was standing up on the barrel and he took his head and he just pushed her right yeah, off the barrel he, and started running home. Yeah, he wow. ran over it and then pushed me off the barrel with his head and then just kept running. Wow. So guys, we got to move on to your cow before I run out of daylight. Uh, so i got to learn a little bit about meatloaf here. So, look, you guys see the front half of this. <laughs> Hello there, meatloaf. So this is the famous meatloaf. I tell you, it makes a really good milk. Made very soft too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is a super soft cow. She'll drool on you, so Oh, I'm, I can handle it. You like to drool? Uh, went into the stanchion pretty easy. Yeah. So you say he doesn't like to get out. Nope. She doesn't. No, nope. she doesn't want to leave okay. the food. So you just prepped her by cleaning her uh, udder system here. Yes, we did. And uh, uh, yeah. so what do you use to clean? Uh, Chlorhexidine. Food? It's this blue stuff. Yeah. It's It'll kill anything that's on there. Any germ that's on there, it'll get clean. Wow. So. so with uh, with dairy and stuff, do you, is there any kind of things you precautions you, you do to kind of uh, make sure everything's good for your milk and stuff? Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Yep. yep. Keep it clean. And you did test. Tell them about the yep. testing. Yep. Yep. I took it out of my pocket already. What kind of testing was it? It's a mastitis test, a four quarter test. You squirt a little bit of milk uh -huh. on each dot. And if it stays yellow, everything's fine. Yeah, I've actually seen that used before. But yeah. Interesting. And you use a milking machine, right? We do. So we've got that almost hooked up. I didn't know oh, if Sherry is. would like to take over the camera and you could <laughs> just get us started here. Yeah. So I'll show so, you. So i got to tell you guys, uh, before I move this camera to high command here, is, you know, when you get my age, you have like a bucket list of things you got to do. One of them's not skydiving. But mine is, I wouldn't mind seeing what it's like to milk a cow. And so Amy's going to give me that opportunity. So uh, <laughs> it might be a little funny, but it's something I've always wanted to do. So, all right, I'm going to give the camera over to Sherry eventually here. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, guys, I don't know if I'll look professional or not, but it's just something I've always wanted to do. All right. So it's just a, a pull. Wow, yep. it's firmer. I thought it'd be softer. So it's do the full. front ones. Front ones first. Yep. 
and just from the top and yep. down, right? Yep. Like so. You're not gonna hurt her. All the way to the. Tip. What am I doing wrong? There. Just like that. Look at you. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> yep. And bring your hand all the way. There oh, it goes. I see what the so technique you is. Up, so you bring it. it down there, and then it it gets captured in here, and you kind of pull it yep, out like that. Yeah, just like that. So so if we were doing this by hand, we'd have the bucket out here. Yeah. Yep. And just. Wow. I just get her started like that on each one before I put the machine on. I wouldn't have never known about because. I thought it just it worked its way from here, but actually it's from here. So you're actually bringing it down to the lower section, and that makes it come yep, out. Yeah, it squirts out. Wow, how cool is that? We don't want to waste the milk. <laughs> uh, but what a cool experience! I got to tell you, bucket list check off. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. All right. So how All much right. milk can you get out of here? Uh, three gallons a day. All in one session? No, or one, twice one and a day? half in the morning and one and a half at the night. Wow. Yeah. So, do you mind if I? Oh, yeah. I just want to see what How hard do you have to squeeze it? Just gentle, but you're not going to hurt her. Just like that. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's not bad. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Next, I want to see you in the machine work now. All right. Yeah. I can now say I've Yes, we've actually milked the cow. Bit. So, she's uh, just because we're. We were handling her. We're gonna clean her off again, and she's gonna attach her to their milking machine. And uh, you know, we want to make sure we don't follow. We follow all the procedures. This is my bucket. We carry everything out here in the bucket. The bucket gets sanitized on the inside. It's not pretty on the outside, but the whole point is to keep everything clean on the inside. Yep. So. Do you have any trouble like. with her uh, kicking your buckets over or anything? No, not her. Yeah, she seems really calm. She's pretty good. So it, it'll be loud. Okay. They'll kind of suction on there. See, now they're hanging by themselves. They give a little jiggle. That's kind of what a calf does too. Yeah, it does. And that helps the milk let down. Yep. It, there's not a lot different than from, you know, humans nursing babies and such. Yeah. Come on. You can see it's starting okay. to come out. Gotcha. And how long does it take? Um, about, the front one takes about seven minutes and the back about five. So these are the vacuum hoses on one arm and that's where the milk's coming down and going into the tube. Wow. It's amazing how well you're you handle it. Does, does your thing stop when it gets full or anything it, like that? It or is it would if indicated? she gave me a whole entire full can on one set of teeth. It has a float valve on it, okay. so if the milk got up to the float, it'll go rear, rear, rear. Okay. The pump will make the noise and then I shut it off. But she doesn't give me that much in one go. So when I see, I have to pay attention. I can't sit here on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> I do sometimes, but I have to pay attention too. So when it stops flowing, then we release the pressure, and she doesn't like that part. I know you smell big piggies, don't you? I know, this is piggies. Oh, did I get a good spot? Sorry about that. But yeah. So once again here, me and Meatloaf kind of got a relationship now. But uh, we also get the, it's not one of her caps, is it? No, oh. we love her. Oh. oh, that's right. Yeah, I heard that about that. Apparently, you've got a bottle feed cap, fit, feeder cap, <laughs> <laughs> something like that, guys. Anyway, uh, hi, baby. Uh, so Sherry's going to get the honors on that one. So that'll be kind of, that's another checklist. That's a, that's a checklist. I know nothing about cows or anything like that. I How know. much Oh, that's not that bad. So, how early do you have to get up to milk the cows and stuff? I don't. She takes over <laughs> all the animals on the property, so she gets up and feeds him in the morning. And what she, time do you get up to do that? Um, I get up between 6:30 and 7:30 in the morning. I get up, I get his milk, and I start warming it up in the sink in some hot water. I go out, I feed the horses, and take care of the rabbits. Then I come back inside, and that's done. And so then I come out here and feed him. I let him out of the stall. Bring him out here, and that's basically 
morning. And so what's, what's some of your chores? Um, so I wake up like 7, 7.30 in the morning and I once my mom wakes up, well as soon as I wake up, I get my clothes on and then I go outside and take care of the chickens. Yeah, and oh, then, you're the chicken girl. Then, yeah. You're the chicken lady. Are you the crazy chicken lady? Yeah, I had a shirt that says chicken whisperer because I taught my chickens how to sit. I do. <laughs> I did this. I yeah. did this over them, and then they sat lying like that. Do you that. teach my chickens to sit? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't really do it very much anymore. Oh. But and then once, then I go inside and like watch TV or something until my mom wakes up. Then we go out and feed the baby goats yeah. their so bottles. Do you guys? This is a secret. Do you guys know how to put chickens to sleep? Yeah. Have you done it? You know how to do it? How do you do it? Um, you put them. Uh, I put them upside down like this, and yeah. then I cover their eyes. Well, that works. Have you ever done it? Mm, yeah, we had to do surgery on one chicken's foot. It got bumblefoot. Yeah. And we tossed a towel over it, and I just kind of held it like this oh. and but cut it open. Did and you know you could put a chicken to sleep and literally put them on the ground, and they'd stay there? They'd just look like a football? We did that with the whole thing. We, we used to do that all the time. So we're hoping, uh, yeah. we're hoping we'll lose battery. It's a little darker in here, but this camera can handle it. And we're gonna get a chance. Okay. So we put them away in the You can stay out and I'll let Sherry and Rob come in, okay, honey? Thank you. We put them away in the stall because of the coyotes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So at nighttime, we feed him in here because then he comes in really easy. And so it's really easy to do. I tuck it under my arm like that and do it because it takes a little while for him to eat it all. And then, <laughs> baby, come back. Yeah. Then you go like that. He starts drinking. You tip him down like that so his neck is at the right angle. Oh, wow. Oh, that is adorable. How long does it take one to take that thing down? Maybe 10 minutes. <laughs> Do you need to straighten his neck out or anything? You tip his neck down so that it gets the right angle. See how yeah, she's doing it, just okay. like if he were hooked onto his mama. I'll see if I can get myself knocked over. Oh, what a cutie. He's beautiful. Yeah. And part of bottle feeding them, it makes them friendlier with people. Yeah. So with the kids, that was what we decided we wanted to do. How old is he? He is a month and a half old. Month and a half. Okay. And how long do you have to do this? Uh, up to six months. We can wow. start weaning him at four months. We'll cut him back to two bottles. Then he starts eating grain really good. Does he ever get full? Does he take these out of the whole type thing every time? He never thinks he's full. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the pigs. <laughs> right? You said you never did before, huh? Nope. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was such a fun time at uh, Dragonfly Farms. I want to thank Amy and Dustin and uh, their family, uh, their folks and their children for the hospitality. It was fantastic. Uh, I was so impressed by the children. Um, and we did uh, have some more footage on the horses and things like that, but our video was getting kind of long. Um, and I kind of messed up on the camera a little bit, <laughs> got the timing wrong. But uh, yeah, but it was a good time. I urge you, if you're interested in getting some raw milk from uh, Meatloaf, uh, uh, just go down to the description below. I'll have a link to their Facebook page. And they are working uh, eventually of having a YouTube channel, so that's kind of exciting. And uh, we got uh, our weather's changing. We're just getting kind of summery. And then now it's going backwards again. So, uh, welcome to May. You just know you may have rain, you may have snow, you may have sunshine. So, uh, anyway, but once again, thank you to uh, uh, Dragonfly, Drag Dragonfly Farms. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure we'll be uh, hearing much more from them. And uh, we'll have uh, Amy on our podcast on a regular basis. And uh, I think it's important to have her on there because of her uh, being one generation below me and uh, Dale and uh, the parents were super but the children were amazing and it just 
Uh, it was just so nice to see. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some cuteness out of there. Sherry and I both got a chance to milk a cow. Sherry got a chance to bottle feed a cow. And uh, that was just so fun to watch. So uh, thank you very much, uh, Amber and uh, Dustin and the family. And uh, till next time, guys, please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. And uh, in the comments below, say hello. Tell us what you're up to. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, we'll follow up. So guys, thank you. Talk to you later. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.